How's it going? All right. Welcome, Phil. Yep, thank you. And just for the record, um, I probably should have said this already, like um, we're after school hours and not doing a school thing, so the county requirement for mass doesn't apply to us. You're certainly more than welcome to wear one. Okay. But it is not a requirement. All right. For your information. We ready to launch in, Phil? Yep. All right. Santino, are you ready? All right. I will call the meeting to order and we'll open with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll start with our uh, roll call. Um, uh, John Doolin, Chandler Fleming, Leanna Hong, here. Steve Heyer, I am here. Uh, Pat Kittle is not here. Rob Namowitz, here. Phil Reed, right here. Uh, Matt Blau, here. And Stephen Murray, here. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to our video center board meeting tonight. Um, well, the first action item on our agenda is approving the agenda. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? A motion to approve. Support. Are there any questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The agenda is approved. We have no carryover or postponed agenda items tonight. We move into our regular business, and the first item on that list is the request to approve the minutes from our April 14th, 2021 meeting. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes as presented? I'll motion to approve. I second. Are there any questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, the next item on the agenda is reviewing the video center budget report ending in August uh, 2021. And we are uh, approximately two months into our fiscal year. And uh, the report has been provided to you. Stephan, is there anything you wanted to uh -huh. I, I think or everything highlight. looks pretty good at this point. I will say that the township just sent us a lease payment last week, but because this, these figures are as of 831, they're not in, that is not in here at the moment. Um, in your next, in our next meeting, that will show. Um, yeah, everything looks pretty good. I, I have nothing really of note here. Everything's looking fine. And we should know our ending balance officially come our next meeting as well, because I believe the schools are currently doing their audit process as we speak. Yep. Any questions? All right, we move on to item uh, three on our regular business list here, which is uh, board member advocacy. And this is something that uh, Steph and I had discussed a, a little bit, and I think with Matt as well at some point, probably with Pat at some point. Um, in, in generally speaking, as we look to get back to more in person and kind of back to normal after a weird year and a half of uh, remote and you know in person, but trying not to spend too much time in person, um, to get back to a little more sense of normalcy, we we want to, I think, empower the video center board. And as we're going to have a, a new member um, coming aboard to to replace Pat, I think it's as a good as time as any to kind of approach this and say, all right, how do we kind of define our role as the video center board, you know, individual board members and, and the board as a whole. And, and how do we get more engaged? How can we be more supportive? How can we get the word out more? And, and, and one of the things that I think Stefan's going to touch on with um, uh, underwriting sponsorships, um, you know, is, is how, how do we use our connections really to, to further that, right? We all know people in town. We're citizens, community members. You know, when we start something new like that, certainly priming the pump is, you know, something that's going to get it going. Um, so that that is really the crux of the agenda item here tonight. And I guess it's a, a, a let Stefan weigh in and then anybody that wants to throw their thoughts in and we can maybe talk about what a plan might look like. So something that maybe I think over over the course of last year and how last year we had 
we had to scale back what we were doing and such. Made me think like, I don't think that one of the things the Video Center Board could really help us do is, you guys could be ambassadors for us, right? Kind of when you're out there and you're not in an event that maybe we're not at, that you could be bringing us up in those conversations, um, making people aware. Um, I still run into people who aren't aware. Um, one of the shows we do currently, it's a health, healthy living tips show, and her segments are pretty short. But the way she actually started doing the show is because we went and filmed a sign that was in her front yard. And she came out of her house and said, who are you? And, <laughs> oh, we, I, can, I can come in and do something? Yeah. So now she comes in every month and does something. So I think having all of us out there doing things and just making people aware, having those conversations about, hey, you know, you, you seem to have a real passion about this. You could, you could do a TV show about this. It would be huge. And, and even too, I mean, obviously the we have a great relationship with the chamber. Um, that's something that you know I think even with that partnership, you know, business people aren't aware of how they could leverage, you know, the the assets that we have. You know, this isn't kind of your your father's public access situation here, right? We're not doing Wayne's World or, you know, uh, whatever. Though we could if someone doing. wants to make that kind of show, <laughs> <laughs> but way better. But better, yes. Um, the high school. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I mean, the, the equipment that we have is state of the art. You know, the production quality that you can have is there. You can learn things. You can leverage some students that, that are learning these things. I mean, we really have a great gem here that, you know, it's, it's a great kept secret. And what better group of people to talk about this but the people that are on this board and most of you would have interacted with us or done shows with us. So you know firsthand what it's like to be a community member coming in who knows nothing and to do a show, right? Right. So. And, and, you know, when the Video Center board first came together, um, there was business to be done. You know, we're getting things up and running and going, and the, there was some, I'll say, more substance to the meetings. And, and now our meetings are, are very straightforward and short. And, you know, as volu community volunteers, it's not that we want to take more time of yours, but I want to make sure, like, for our community volunteers, like, this is a worthwhile, um, you know, investment of your time. You know, you should feel like we're doing something good for the community. And I think that's kind of where my head's going with this. And I think, um, you know, may maybe it's the case where, you know, we're, we're as we do business, we're required to, to certainly meet public and follow the Open Meetings Act. And you know, all the legalities around that. But, you know, in terms of um, chatting and getting to know each other and, and, you know, we've talked about doing a tour, I think was one of the last things we wanted to do before the pandemic hit and we, we haven't gotten to that yet. But, you know, how do we engage more people at the video center? You know, if, if we know about the video center, you know, how can we, you know, bring in maybe the township board and the school board or the chamber board or, you know, some other folks in town and, you know, see it. What, it, what does it look like? What, what, you know, what, what happens there? Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that, that's kind of where my head's at. You know, what, what do you guys think? Um, are, you know, are we going on the right, right track there? You know, should we, should we spend, spend time, you know, in our future uh, meetings here? We only have uh, four formal meetings a year. Um, so getting folks engaged, making sure we're picking dates that work for people, you know, kind of, I don't want to say, you know, defining it for the sake of defining it, but, you know, I want you to know as a video center volunteer, you know, what, what is your role as a board member? And that includes certainly the meetings, but there should be some other parts, I think, that really help the video center and make the role more rewarding. So with that, I'll let you all weigh in. Yep. So I have a question. So is one of the questions, how do we promote ITV better? Is that it? I was thinking, do, I'm not for, you know, I, I go to the site every once in a while, you know, especially YouTube. Um, is there a segment that can be pinned to at the top, kind of like a, like a, like a five minute commercial of the video center, what yep. the equipment, the capabilities, the, you know, how can you do something, you know, we, we like totally what's the next do, step if you're interested? We could totally do that. And on our ITV homepage, I believe is, um, I think there's a how to watch video. So we could totally do some sort of like how to be involved video. Totally. It's always yeah, like, like pin it, if it's yeah. possible, to pin yeah. it yep. to the top of the Absolutely. website. And then also on the Facebook page, you know, uh, if it's sometimes it's easier to 
Facebook in some cases to pin somebody to tap than the other And we currently cases. do have a video pinned on the top of our Facebook page. Um, Facebook recently changed. You can't have banner videos. <laughs> right. It can only be a picture now. So there is a video about uh, that kind of highlights all the various community things that we do right. in school. Right, okay. Well, I was thinking that would be helpful. And then, you know, one thing that's always frustrating to me, if I can continue for a second, is, you know, all these jurisdictions have their own video, uh, if they do have a video facility. There are all these independent islands, and I think it's, they're, it's kind of structurally set up not to cooperate with other jurisdictions like Oxford or Lake Orion, but it would be great if we could figure out a way to, you know, be a little bit more interrelatable, you know, because there's obviously going to be some videos at Lake Orion or uh, Oxford, as an example, Absolutely. or Holly are going to put up that we might find interesting, and we would think vice versa. You know, some jurisdictions, you know, like Rose Township, you know, I don't know what they have, but or, and they don't have much in the way of restaurants, but, you know, there's a way to promote, you know, certain things like restaurants, you know, and, um, and of course, you know, our Main Street has really turned into a restaurant district, and, so, and now with the advent of Rudy's in the next couple of years becoming another, hopefully, destination restaurant. You know, it's something that maybe we could promote with other jurisdictions, and I and I have been told that it's it's been structurally constrained for some reason. But it would be great if there was some opportunity we, that we could nibble at the edges, nibble at the edges around inter jurisdictional co cooperation, whatever. Absolutely, and there's actually uh, so I sat on the, on a board on the Michigan board, and Matt sat on the regional board, um, and it's Alliance for Community Media. Um, and they they are kind of our how do you want to trade? Them? I mean, they're, yeah. they're they're other organizations that are like us, whether it's in the state or in the surround. I think it's like four or five states that the region represented represents. Um, so you, you know, those conferences you do get to kind of pick their brains and see what they're doing, what you know, tips and tricks from them. Of course, in the last you know two-ish years, we've had a little less of that for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, that, that we do get to do a little bit of that at those conferences. I mean, there's, if I can continue, just one last thought. You know, one example might be uh, transportation. You know, the smart system has, uh, doesn't fully go, in, obviously, into North Oakland County, but, but jurisdictions do have some kind of transportation system. So maybe just some way to indicate, like, you know, if you're in, a, like in this area, like Clarkston or Independence Township, how could you get to Oxford, you know, or you know, um, yeah. or sure. some other place, you know, like what, what are the mechanics of doing that and working with the senior centers, for example, because, you know, you get a certain age and, you know, you, you may have to relinquish your driver's license, but you're still mobile and um, maybe people might want to f have some kind of tool that sure. might help them get around it in some way. I don't know. That's well, the end of my uh, free freewheeling thinking here. Well, I so appreciate the comments. I think you know our partnership here the, that we came up with is 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 not the only one like it, but it's certainly unique um, in what we do. And I think showcasing that to other communities and saying here here's our blueprint, I think that makes a lot of sense. And even in collaboration, right? I mean, we're we're working on finalizing. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Where you know there needs to be less equipment at the township, and it can all be done from the high school in terms of videoing and, and manipulating the equipment well why does it have to be you know the township to the high school i mean it could be the high school to anywhere correct right and i mean given the the capabilities of some of the newer technologies so i mean we could potentially partner with other you know uh, communities that have aging equipment you know and say hey why are you why would you invest in that you know seventy thousand dollar piece of equipment we have that, and ours works great. You know, let's right. let's collaborate here. What could you get that could supplement that we're not all using every day? Um, I think there's definitely room room there because certainly, right? If if we look forward, the crystal ball of how media is going to work is is less traditional cable, you know, more internet-based things, which means less money ultimately mm -hmm. for this venture. And and our goal has always been to diversify by the time we got there. Well, certainly the more people we can get on board, and that's where the, the uh, community media group comes into play with, you know, the uh, legislative advocacy. 
you know, I think there's probably a role there for us too, you know, and the, the right. respective township and school board. When the uh, last round of, of uh, bills came through, we I think we all passed resolutions um, supporting our appropriate position to you know protect our video center. Th that's that would be appropriate for us too, is to say, all right, who are the key people? We should develop some relationships there, um, so we can use those as as regulations right. are going to change. Because you certainly know that you know your ATs, AT and Ts, and Comcast of the world have some very high power government relations folks. And if any of you are interested in being like getting on those email lists and stuff for those that for the alliance, let me know. I can help you get on that email list. Okay. And oh, um, to your point, you know, I think it's some wonderful ideas, but a lot of it is just getting people to know about it. Mm -hmm. And you know, if they're not going to the, you know. The YouTube, or the they won't see the how-to. So a lot of this comes down to just you know um, community education, but more just the crux of marketing. Right. Um, so I have a very good friend, she's one of my best friends, and I can definitely bring her in, and she will brainstorm and help us come up with some stuff, and maybe get some ideas to you know really kind of think outside the box and leverage some existence uh, existing um, platforms that might be a good idea to capture too is we could create some for lack of a more exciting word uh, committees you know of interested citizens or supportive citizens you know that that we could bring in and almost like a little focus group mm -hmm. you know hey what do you think how would it go how, you know how do we do some things and you know maybe once or twice a year just Right. get some free advice from them yeah. you know yeah. and we're making fans of them they're seeing what we're doing mm -hmm. um, but even I mean I, I think it's important to know and, and um, you, you have done a show before so you're familiar with the inner workings I, I, I think the the partnership in and of itself is worthy of knowing because it's it's a it's a real gem because it's it's so unique I mean it's a, a school district and a township with some other ancillary partners you know it's it's government working together for the good of the community mm -hmm. you know that doesn't it's not a headline you see too often yeah. right um and so so that's something i think we should celebrate as a Absolutely. you know a quality of life here that we have that you know offers our our student groups our senior groups our community groups you know our service clubs <laughs> our chamber i mean everybody benefits and i think you know highlighting that in addition if we do that get more people to know they can come in and do some things. And I can say that Matt and I have gone to enough conferences, community media conferences, where when we talk about how we work with the school and the township, a lot of people are like, wow, you make that work? That's, that's really <laughs> impressive. Because a lot of people dream about being able to do that. They just don't know how or just can't get the both entities to talk. So yeah, that's I, I mean, truly for I haven't done. I, I guess I've done this a while, um, it, but you know, for years we've tried to collaborate on things, and for one reason after another, it, it it wasn't possible. And so to get something where you know we're we're both sort of forced to be in the same room and work together, it paves the way for all kinds of other things too, right? And if you if you know each other, you can't throw rocks over the wall at each other, um, which wasn't always the case, you know. And that's that's really an important piece I think of uh, certainly respect and relationships that we have locally that unfortunately don't extend beyond our local borders I think sometimes. Your turn. <laughs> well after all we do advertise in the Clarkson News. We, we do. do. Yeah. And I will say something simple that you all can do really simply is just watch our videos like them. If you want to comment, right. you can. But sh you know, pay attention to our Facebook. If you like it, like it. If you want to share it, share it. Um, because right. by us doing that, that helps us be more visible. Um, yeah. So when I looked at social media, I always thought my initial reaction was, "This is a way to amplify messages." And uh, and that's like, for example, there's one show that I follow closely, uh, Conversations with Bill, Bill mm -hmm. Haney. Um, and I like to share those either on my page and also the, you know, subgroups that you can find on Facebook. But it's always good to not just like something, but also to cross post it onto your news uh, feed or whatever as a way to amplify the, the, the content and the products that are coming out. 
Bill is a great example of a community member who has a passion about information and wants to tell everybody and share with everybody some of the cool people and things that are going on around here. Right. Absolutely. Mr. Namowitz. Well, I, I'd like to make more contributions. It, I, I don't mean to be so picky, but sometimes I'm picky about what I see. And if you see something that could be enhanced on independent television, by all means, these, these guys are really open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you watch the content, if there's something that you feel could be amplified, certainly mm -hmm. tell the damage, management. Because these, these fellas want to expand their viewership as well. And uh, yeah, hit the like button, right? Absolutely. If you're going to spend your time watching the show, hey, like that show if you like it. Because uh, that makes a big difference to the YouTube thing. If everything's going to end up on YouTube anywhere, or, or Vivo, one or the other. Yep. And uh, th that's, uh, that's the way to uh, expand it. And if you have friends that you know are interested in the content that you like on the station, Certainly, let your friends know, hey, you can just go to Independence Television on YouTube and type in a, a, a word in the search box, and boom, your interest comes up. A lot of people don't understand how easily that's done. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it sounds stupid, it, and I'm not ashamed of that. I go to Craigslist in the morning, and I type Craig Clarkston in the search box. And whatever people are trying to peddle in Clarkston comes up immediately. And you find something right in your neighborhood, perhaps that's interesting. I got an entire box of Civil War books for $20. You know, books which are probably going to be burnt in the next 20 years. Beautiful, historic content. This, I'm, I'm learning so much more from that box of books than, than I ever did in high school. Of course, maybe I wasn't paying attention in high school. Maybe that was a problem there. But They had no videos. See, they didn't have videos, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, the, the local content for your local friends is the way to punch it up right here in Independence because it is the Independence Township pays the people who live here, citizens pay for the mm -hmm. pay for the privilege of having a peg channel. Which to go to Phil's question earlier on, the reason all the systems are broken up is because every municipality had a chance on how to use this funding, and everybody made a separate deal. Originally, when it was Channel 65, you know, there were a bunch of experienced lawyers who cut a deal with, at that time, who was in the beginning? Tribune? Or TCI? T something like Is that, that a million years ago. Tribune and, United? Yeah. yeah, it might have been Tribune United. And those were smart people that cut the original deals, and they got a lot for the township, which included a building full of equipment, and, and the exclusivity of them having the cable franchise is what funded it in every little town. And every little town has chosen to do it differently. Mm -hmm. Oregon's done it quite a bit differently. Springfield, we've got a little bit going with Springfield, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're cross-pollinating with them a little bit. Crap. The school yep. district is part of, goes into part of Springfield, I believe. Yep. But w what content of Springfield's are we? So doing? currently, Springfield takes school board meetings. Um, they were taking chamber chatter for a while. Um, they, I kind of offer them things and they choose whether they want it or not so uh -huh. it, it just depends right um, we send them sporting events too I and think, we send them some generally. sporting events yeah. if they were clamoring for it in independence township uh, in in springfield people would ask for it and there would be a demand for it yep. mm -hmm. so it you know when you get to rose somebody said rose township well that that money just goes to the general fund they never they never have had any sort of component there and it's the same in Holly. There's there's hardly a peg component in Holly at all. And I think one of the most valuable things is the government is on independence television. You can see every meeting. You can see what everybody's doing. You can share the anxiety about the new supervisor on your independence <laughs> television. You can go right there and see the angst in their little faces down at the township board meeting. And you can't do that in all the other townships. And that's that's the that's the reason Peg was invented, so that we can right. see what what government was up to. So if we can encourage that in outer townships by saying, this is what we've done here. I mean, the school board meeting. I mean, that, it, it, took, it took years to get the school board meeting so that it was audible. Year, decades. I can actually think in decades. It has been decades. Well, we, school we, we, we had a rudimentary version probably 25 years ago. 
and then it sort of went away because yes. it was so rudimentary. Ru rudimentary. Yes, and, it began as then, unwatchable, and then it yes, got worse. And then we, I think we stopped it for a while, and then we brought it back. And so, yeah. so you know, that's that's a big step forward for the people in, in a, any uh, school district. We can they can sit at home in their pajamas with their feet up and a beer in their hand and watch what the school board's up to. Yep. And ours is very, quite watchable. <laughs> that's good. I wish every township had the same opportunity. But yeah, punch that like button. Yeah, <laughs> punch absolutely. the like button. Well, good. Well, th thanks for sharing your uh, input. I think there's there's probably two components, if not more, to this. Where where one is sort of our role as a video center board that we get to craft for ourselves, um, and and I don't know that, that that's like a job description of sorts, you know, for our our group and individually, kind of what the expectations are and what we could do individually and as a group. Um, you know, I think that's one thing that we can work on here. You know, over the the next couple of meetings, and then you know, there's a, probably a video center component too as we get into some of the operational kinds of things that you know, obviously our uh, uh, leaders here head up. You know, though that's not our purview to sort of manipulate, but but certainly what we're doing and pushing forward relates to what we want to do as a video center board and. and you know, I think we're at a point now where, you know, if that's setting some goals for the year, or, you know, looking at what kind of priorities we want to do, like we've done staffing, you know, a bunch of different ways in our existence so far, you know, what does that look like? You know, is there, as we talk about promotion and sponsorship sales, I mean, those are things that we didn't deal with at the beginning. You know, is there a, a staff component to some of those things? So I think, you know, that's, that's where our conversations can go and we can certainly ask Matt and Stefan for some recommendations and thoughts and, you know, as we set and approve like some of the vision and high level goals for what we want to do, um, certainly, you know, there's some uh, operational things that come with that. So that's kind of where I think we're going. If you're all good with that, we'll, uh, anything else that you wanted to add, Stefan or Matt? Uh, I guess the one thing I would add too is, uh, I think for a variety of reasons, we do we do have some we do have less media students this semester than previous year than the previous year. I know that's a lot on me to better advertise that course to students and parents. But if there's anything the board can do to help out with that as well, I know. Quick story: we were when we were at a swim meet the other week, some students had some chips caught in a vending machine, and I helped them get the chips out. And I just said, "Mr. Blow, media production, consider taking the class." So. Anything to kind of, uh, you know, I, I think part of it was we weren't out of, we weren't out and about with our cameras as much last year, so I think people lost a little bit of that that class exists. So uh, that's another thing I'm working for this year, just to make sure you know people know about it. Just buy pizza once in a while. Yeah. You, you know what? I just who are the coolest teachers in the building? Just go find <laughs> out what they're doing and do a couple of those things. Um, I mean, ki kids know. I mean, it's it's it is it is you know, the sort of teacher's job to make sure kids know about it because it's a student-driven schedule. But, I mean, kids know who the cool teachers are, right? And it's like, oh, I got a spot in my schedule. I mean, that sounds interesting. Let me try that, right? If there's a boring teacher, and, I, like, I don't know that we have many boring teachers anymore. I mean, I remember some when I was in school. <laughs> um, you know, it was like, oh, I don't want to take that. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's a boring subject and a boring teacher. <laughs> you know, and that's different for every kid because everybody's interests are different. So sure. that's certainly something, too, that you know, how we get, how do we build demand earlier? You know, what can we do in uh, the middle school? And, you know, we're talking about jun more junior high stuff. Mm -hmm. And even in the elementaries, you know, how do we get, you know, kids excited about, you know, this kind of stuff? You know, I mean, everybody loves to be on uh, a green screen, right? When you're 10 years old, I think. There's a lot of mm -hmm. cool stuff you could do. So great. Awesome. Well, thank you all for uh, putting your two cents in. I think, you know, getting to some workshop kind of things or discussion components at these meetings, I think, is, is going to be uh, really helpful for our contributions because we have some really smart, you know, connected community members on this uh, board, and we want to make sure we're getting everything we can get out of you because that's kind of the point of you uh, volunteering your time. So thank you very much. Uh, that brings us to item four, which is our production update. So I'm going to probably just hit on some of the, the ones that I think are important here. Um, so we finished the fiber project between the township, its DPW, its senior center, and that also splits off to us. Um, at last week's township board meeting, I, we did a simul recording. So the meeting that's posted is the typical 
meeting how it typically would be with the tr equipment still at Township Hall. And I went back to the school and just recorded it there. Um, things are working well. Um, I, th I would think maybe next week's Township Board meeting might be a meeting that gets posted that is from all from the school. Um, so that's going well. Um, we are, so AT&T um, is, is discontinuing its T1 lines. Um, the school has, is willing to let us use the Oakland school's internet to send that AT&T feed back, or our video back to AT&T for AT&T U-verse. So in our budget, what we budget for AT&T will eventually be zero because there will be no cost for that. Um, over the summer, we had two high school interns um, and one high school, in, or two college interns and one high school intern. Um, they did well. Um, they're all back to school now. Um, so that went well. Um, yeah, I, I think, um, sure. Um, uh, last week, we did our first uh, live sporting event. We did a swim meet last week. We got our first home football game this Friday for the students. So getting geared up for that. Um, uh, they also, I'm also teaching a media class at Renaissance High School this year, uh, which is kind of a unique thing because I, as far as I know, they've never had a media class there. At least if they have, it's been a long time since they've had one. Uh, so organizing that, figuring out how that's going to take shape, uh, we're looking at you know what gear we can get over there so they can get some hands-on cameras and things of that nature. Um, but yeah. Uh, still early in the semester, things are just kind of getting going. And uh, to mention something, I think Stefan kind of mentioned at the top, but uh, township board meetings will soon be HD on the web at least, correct? Yes, correct. So that's another thing. So not only will they be streamed from the high school or recorded from the high school, but they'll be in glorious HD online, for better or for worse. <laughs> and we have, a we have two more movies in the park uh, events. Um, they're both drive-ins, so if you want to attend, register with uh, Independence Township Parks, but next one, this coming weekend is Jurassic Park, so watching that in your car should be fun. Especially if you have a Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's kind of, when you say that, Matt, it, it, like it's full circle, right, because that's where Scott actually started with the district. That's, yeah, right? my so, understanding, yep. Um, as he transitioned in uh, the video role and you took over for him and now you're teaching class at Renaissance. It's full circle, so that's, uh, that's wonderful. Any questions on uh, production or anything for Matt and Stefan? I just can say it looks better than ever. It looks great. It is. It, it's, I feel like it's good to be back, you know, like to, to be out there and doing live stuff. You know, I can't imagine uh, being an intern or a media student and like not having anything to go. I think a lot of last year was just that yeah. uncertainty of, well, we're here today, but what about tomorrow? And yeah. I mean, I know nothing's guaranteed at this point either, but things are at least looking a little more optimistic this year. Time will tell, but yep. I think that, you know, it's nice to start this year off on a more optimistic note. We've had to be year. very creative in the things we go film. Yep. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Great. Uh, that moves us to uh, item G, which is public comment. Do we have any members of the public who would wish to comment tonight? Seeing none. Um, item H is board member comments. Do we have any board member comments? Well, I guess I could just can reiterate uh, everything on the station looks better than ever. And uh, that uh, the idea, you're also advertising for offering uh, people to learn how to produce yes. shows, which I think is really important. The, the uh, instructional component of the studio is really important. And, uh, uh, is that open to people who are not Independence Township residents? I think our line has always been Independence Township or Springfield. Um, now, I would say if, I don't know, if a Rotterford resident came to me and said, I want to highlight something Clarkston, Independence Township or Clarkston area is doing, I'd probably make an exception there and say, okay, yeah, you, you want to you wanna highlight something in this community and we can air it. I'm, I believe our policy says, correct me if I'm wrong, Stephen, I think it prioritizes Independence Township and Clarkson area, but there is, you know, down the list, there is, a, there is an option for if you're a non-resident but looking to do, rena you know, stuff that the community would be interested in, uh, I think management has correct. the authority to, to 
okay that, then they could do, they could make content in that way. I, I guess my question is more of, to get back to the uh, intersectional problem with other townships, there are people that may have equipment or may have a desire to produce shows, but don't know how, they've never seen it done, uh, someone from Rose or Springfield or who is trying to learn the craft, let's call it. Sure. And they could come and watch and get a little bit of instruction as well mm -hmm. uh, that would expand their, uh, their horizons quite a bit if they could see how it's done correctly because okay. everything, oh, it's good to see. To see something done well is the best way to see it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, before we adjourn our next meeting i'm just looking at my calendar here do you know when it is off the top of your head november 17th i was, I was just looking november at november 18th. 17th is our next meeting i just want to make sure that was good for the four of you and if you know in advance that a meeting is not good for you we do have some flexibility we try to approve them in advance so you can keep them clear on your calendar but i just wanted to uh, mention the next meeting and make sure we're good for those good feels good Again, are you good? I am good. Okay, oh, excellent. All right, item I is adjournment. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? Motion to adjourn this meeting. I second that. All right. Are there any questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Santino, what was the TRT, total runtime? Forty-four. Did you, have, did you have a bet? We always we always try to take a little poll of, of how long the meeting is going to go. I had thirty. Santino had thirty-five. Stefan had forty-five. So.